Welcome back everybody to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. I'm gonna hurry and do something a little different. I'm gonna try to not take so long with dialogue, because we're only on the second day. The third day we're gonna talk to Raja about the peace mission and get all the briefing on that, and then we're gonna leave. Hello, Krisha. Good day, young prince. I hope that your experiences with the Council of Judgment did not upset you. Ah, nah, I gave that Raja what for. Hello. Yes, we'll always be welcome. Uh, we got—we do have to talk to her about a few things. I'm going to try to skim over some of it. Um, if you don't like the fast version of this, just let me know and I'll go back to doing it the regular way. Honor is very important to lion tars. Most lion tars would rather die than be considered without honor. Rakesh intends to pledge his honor to bring peace. If war doesn't If war does occur, he can never again enter Tarna. Oh. That sucks. We better do the right thing then. <laughs> As Rakesh would say, I do not know if there can be peace in Tarna. I only know that I must try to create peace in Tarna. You do that. Rakesh is speaking with Raja now. He will return here later if you wish to speak with him. Do you realize how special Rakesh is? The only ruler of Tarna to walk away from the throne. The only lion tar to become a paladin. You and I are both very lucky to know him. What? He was the king once? What the heck happened there? Rakesh was king of Tarna some 15 turns of the sun ago. He gave up his rule to rid the world of Demon Wizard. Huh. That's weird. How about this wizard? The Demon Wizard which Rakesh defeated had many powers. It would not greatly surprise me if the same Demon Wizard is the cause of all our problems now. It did swear revenge after all. Oh. That sucks. Tell me about Paladin. Rakesh became a Paladin through his actions and belief. It is difficult at times being life mate to a Paladin. A Paladin tends to travel wherever he is needed. It is so seldom Rakesh and I have a chance to be together. Oh, that stinks. Poor Krisha. Uh, what about the Council? As you can tell, the Council of Judgment consists solely of female lion tars. This is because it is assumed males are too emotional to make rational decisions. <laughs> I think so too. Alright, we only had to talk a little bit to her. And... Raja and Rakesh are talking now, so I wouldn't suggest that you enter the palace. Remember that Rakesh will be making the Pledge of Peace before the Council. Should you choose to explore the savannah, please stay within a day's journey of Tarna. And that's a hint that you really probably shouldn't go too far because we have stuff to do. What time is it now? I feel like we spent an awful long time with Hippie McGee and his Cheech and Chong. Wait, what am I doing? Ugh, derp. Time, please. Oh, pfft. The day has just started. Hero, why are you walking? Every time we leave Kreisha's house, this happens. Alright, let's run. We haven't seen these screens over here, so I'm going to show you these real quick. And by quick, I mean slowly. Oh my god. Hero! Ooh! So in the, the blue doors is where you would meet Raja. We can't go in there now. The guards will stop us. But what's this over here? Let's check it out. I'm going to be nosy. I like to be nosy. You can't stop me. H Hero! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He needs a wheelchair or something. <laughs> Ooh! Look at this. This looks fancy. What's in here? You enter a huge hall dominated by what must be a statue of Sekhmet. The air is smoky and filled with odor of strange spices. You feel as if someone or something is watching you. Uh oh. Let's look at this. The major feature of this temple room is of the giant stone statue of a lion tower. It's positively awesome, and I'm not lying. That is so stupid. Who the hell wrote that? I bet they thought they were cool, too. <sighs> this is the table used by the priestess. Okay. Okay, what's this over here? This brazier is burning sweet-smelling wood and incense. Okay. The symbols on this part of the wall show the Tuat, or Underworld. Anubis is weighing the souls of the dead to determine their worthiness. It's a difficult balancing act. Something tells me we shouldn't be in here. But I don't care! Why are you walking, man? Run! This looks like... I don't know. Can we touch her boobs? <laughs> can we do something awful in here? Wait, what? Uh-oh. How dare a human defile the sanctity of the Temple of Sekhmet! Be gone! I like your eyeshadow, lady. But, but, but I... Hello? 
Wait, can I greet you? Try to be polite <laughs> so she doesn't kick me out. You do not belong here, human. Leave immediately! Leave the temple before Goddess Sekhmet herself smites you for this blasphemy! Wait, what? The statue starts to move. In my temple you will speak only my words, not your own, beloved. Whoa, that looks kind of scary with the red eyes and shit. Human doer, changer of worlds, releaser of darkness, thou hast not yet been judged, and a future cannot yet be weighed. Yet thou hast already created a future for weal or woe. Should it be woe, then the towers of Tarna will fall, and the blood of my Liantor people will flood the savannah. For the darkness before us rises from the darkness behind you, and you must confront that darkness. Yet more I cannot see until you are judged. Leave us now, and return with the gem of the Guardian. You shall then be weighed and judged, and a future can be seen. When you have been judged, we will reveal a future for you, to make or unmake. Huh. Okay, so we're getting sent out of here automatically. Man, I thought we were in trouble there for sure. A gem? Where are we going to find that? Are we sure we want to do this? <laughs> Didn't seem like they were too happy with us. Yikes, I don't know. I don't want to know what my judgment's gonna be to be honest because I was thinking about touching her boobs That's probably no good, right? She probably knew it and everything. Oh hero. What are you doing? Run brother Run. Uh, we really need like a sled or something to get down these stairs. Ooh, we haven't seen this screen either. I think we can talk to These guards and I didn't talk to the priestess because she'll send you out no matter what. Hi. <laughs> We're just saying hello to random people. It is a good day indeed. Well, that dude looks like Chewbacca. What the hell? May the wind blow out your face and may the hunting be good. Okay. Hi. I'm just going to go buy this. They're under the rule of Raja. Tarna is, between, is in the center trade between all things. Blah, blah, blah. Ask about the bazaar. We know where it is. I'm going to go buy this. We don't need to know. Raja. He has ruled the city for 12 years. When he be he became king, when his sire's son Rakish ab abdicated. Oh God, butchered that. Tell me about Rakish. Rakish was a great lion tour leader and much honored by all beings here. Who can respect and honor one who deserted our people? Oh, I can see where this is going. I honor Rakish Asarka. He did he did not desert Tarna, but left honorably. It was a day of great sadness to all of us when Rakish Satana left the throne. Ooh. Ooh, can I start a fight here? Tell me about it. It is the first time in history of our people that a ruler has stepped down from the throne without a challenge. That was because he was too cowardly to face a challenge. Do not speak what you do not know. Ooh, burn. You were but a cub when Rakish gave his throne to Raja. I served under Rakish and I would proudly serve under him again. That's what someone said? Never mind. Then why did he run off from Tarna after the demons were defeated? It is said that he was bound by honor to seek the demons and destroy them. It is said that Rakish seeks the demons still. Well, he will find no demons here. Ooh, I, I'm seriously, I want to start a fight. <laughs> the demons were fierce magical monsters that sought to destroy Artarna. Only with the magic of Krisha Marasha and the power of Rakish's sword were the demons defeated. So they're pretty good, huh? Oh my god, there's so much to talk about. Warrior, he has no idea about magic. Rakish stood before us in battle with a sword held high. The sword was bathed in blue flame. Most demons fled from him. Those that didn't were destroyed by Rakish. The blue flame that he's talking about is actually part of a special sword story and a special thing you can get if you become a paladin. Krisha Marasha is indeed the mother of magic. Uh-huh. Okay. What about this fight I'm trying to get you guys to happen? <laughs> To become a king of Tarna, a male lion tour must challenge the current king. He must prove himself worthy by undergoing tests chosen by the Council of Judgment. Then he must fight to the, the current king to the death. Whoa. These people are serious, man. Council. Yes, the six wisest females because males are so crazy. But these guys aren't too crazy. They're not fighting or anything. Uh, what's your name? I'm Sharaka Simrash. Sim means son of the clan in the language of our people. Okay. Alright, I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. It's good to see you go. Yet better to see you come back. I don't like how their pictures change. It's freaking me out. I'm getting out of here. You Chewbacca people. Jesus. There's much to do on the second day. Let me see if I can... Uh, hang on. Hi, guy. Hello. Oh, man. No. 
What? Don't ignore me! Come back! Wait! Sir? Sir? Do not trouble yourself with such- Don't tell me what to do! Okay, um, we need time to pass. So... Two things I want to do really quickly. Number one, I want to go back in here because I had a request for a special death scene and I'm totally going to do it. And I don't even remember. I remember the death scene, but I don't remember what it actually looks like. So let me let me do this real fast. What up, dude? Oh, I'm so glad to see you again. I've thought about Julia constantly since you told me about her. Is there anything else you remember about her? Um, we just left like five minutes ago. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> oh, hey, good to see you, man. How could you have... Yeah. You tell how you gave the gifts of kindness, magic, and love to Julinar, and how she gave you the magic fruit. Obviously, that happened in the second one. How absolutely extraordinary. Now I know what my dreams mean. This is incredible. Thanks. Hey, man. Can you do me a favor as soon as I save this? <laughs> Let me save this real quick, because we are so going to die. I need a little lightening up. What? Game? Oh. Derp. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. There's a beetle on your head, sir. Alright, I'm not... I think I know how to get this to work. I think we have to sit down. And... I think we have to smoke... Wait, what? Nothing happens when you try to smoke the unlit pipe. Can we... Can we light it? I thought you could die by using this thing. You light the pipe with your tinderbox. Sweet. Oh, now it's on. I'm getting high. I was gonna go to class, then I got high. <laughs> you suddenly feel a little strange and very dizzy. Wow! Are you serious? I was gonna play this game. Whoa! And then I got high. <laughs> My game is all messed up, and I know why. Yeah! <laughs> I think we can do it again. Cause I got high. Cause I got high. Cause I got high. Do 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 do. You spend the next couple of years sleeping in alleyways and eating out of garbage cans. <laughs> yes! All toked up. Then you die. A burned out drug addict. Look at him. He's like a mongoloid. Kids, do not do drugs. Alright. Really? That was the best. I'll go through and do some funny death scenes for you if you want. That's probably one of the best ones in the game. Thank you for reminding me of it. <laughs> okay, so... Wait, what? Hero? Wait, what? What just happened? No, come back out! I don't want to talk to you again! It seems like days. I was just here, you retard. I was just here two seconds ago. I walked out the door, and then I came back in. See you later. Wait, what? Why did that happen? Hang on. Am I gonna have that glitch again where he keeps walking in and out of doors? That really does happen. Wait, hero? Okay, come this way. Holy shit. There is a glitch where you keep, like, walking in and out of the door of the inn, and, like, you can't get out of it. Like, it just <laughs> keeps walking you in and out like a revolving door. What time is it? I'm sure I wasted no time. Ugh, a little. Wait, I have, I have a stupid question. Can I rest, like, right here? Oh, you can. <laughs> it's just past time. You're too impatient? I don't know, here's some bushes. Go masturbate or something. Is Rakesh home yet? Hello? I'm barging in again. This is completely... Oh, no one's here. Can we take anything? <laughs> Maybe we can wait. Welcome, young hero. You will find us in the back parlor. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Did I interrupt something? Oh man, I hope not. Oh man, <laughs> maybe I did! Hello again, my friend. I am sorry you had to experience Tarna's justice in such a manner. Crime is not common here. Rakesh and I were just speaking about the Pledge of Peace and your journey to the Sambani village. Hi, I didn't mean to interrupt your sexy mixed-sex times. I'm sorry. I hope you've enjoyed your adventure so far. It is always a pleasure to see you. I think they're just being super polite. I really don't think that they want me here. Anyway, justice! The justice of Tarna may not seem harsh at first to an outsider. To call someone honorless is more than just name-calling here. A person judged to be honorless is no longer treated as a living creature. An honorless one is totally ignored, and no one will speak or sell anything to him. The honorless one will have no place to stay, no friends, and no food. Usually, such a one will sneak off with the first caravan that leaves this land. Now, though, there are no caravans because of the war. I feel very sorry for that former thief. 
He will not survive being honorless for very long. Ooh. So I guess that really was serious when they called him that, huh? Alright, what else? Crime. Seldom any crime. Justice is harsh. The gates of Tarn are almost always open. They have only been closed once in my lifetime when hordes of demons attacked. It's kind of a precursor. It must have been truly something to see those massive bronze gates opening to reveal the warriors of Tarna. The demon horde was soon driven off by our lion tour fury. That sounds like an epic porno movie. This is when Rikisha was king of Tarna. Alright, I'm being totally silly here. Tell me about when you were king. I had to give up the throne of Tarna in order to drive off the demon wizard from this world. Otherwise, the lion tours who died driving off the demons from Tarna would have died in vain. The demons would only have become more powerful and then attacked again. Okay. What about this pledge that we have to do tomorrow? What's that about? I intend to pledge my honor to bring peace to Tarna. By this act, I hope the Council of Judgment will hold off making any decisions about going to war until we have a chance to do something. I'm hoping we can get the leaders of the Simbani and the Leopardmen to speak before the Hall of Judgment, and thus end forever this talk of war. So that's basically our mission right now. We're going to go with him to try to get the two tribes to at least see eye to eye. What if you cannot bring peace to this land? I am certain with the help of the Prince of Shapira that we can bring peace here. He is a true hero, and I am proud he is with us. Yee! If we do fail, however, I do not think I will have time to regret my loss of honor. This will be a very bloody war. If the demons are behind it, few will survive this encounter. Dun dun dun! Okay. Do you have anything new to say to me? Blah blah blah, Savannah. We'll see that in a minute. Magic is not permitted in the city of Tarna without order. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I butchered that. It's not permitted in the city of Tarna in order to protect those without it. I may work magic only inside this house. Holy crap, I can't read. The Simbani despise magic and will have nothing to do with it. Alright, that's important. The leopard men use magic extensively. They use it to shape change. They use it to attack and defend their village. So we can already see why they don't get along. The Simbani have been Tarna's ally for many years. They supply us with meat and trade for cloth and jewelry. That sounds nice. The Simvani village is a day and a half of, of travel time. I almost said time travel. <laughs> yes! Set the clock back! You and I will travel there after I pledge peace before the Council of Judgment. Okay, well, we're done here. Let's tell about what we did. We peed in a bush. We uh, died smoking a hookah pipe. <laughs> we flirted with some hooker in the inn. Oh, I'm sure there's many more experiences. <laughs> What? The money changer? Who wouldn't have changed their money by now? What an idiot. I, didn't I tell you that I bought crap? Alright, I'm getting out of here. You guys go back to your sexy shenanigans. My, how rude. I'm getting out of here. They didn't even get up to see me out. He's probably sticking it to her right now. Oh my god, hero. Are you hanging out just to hear stuff? Come on, let's go. Oh, he walks so slow. So slow. Come on. Did I waste any time doing that? Any time at all? Just curious. Hello? Oh, for crying out loud. Alright, when we come back, we will... I don't know. Actually, I've got a little time. Let's kill some time by doing what we're not supposed to do and <laughs> leaving the city. Let's go for it. Otherwise, you're just going to see me do this in the next video, and that's pointless. I'm leaving and you can't stop me! Ha ah, ha! Forget your pledge! I'm out of here! See ya! Place is too strict for me! I'll just give you a quick glimpse of uh, this. You get points when you come out here for the first time, whether it be now or whether it be when you go with Rakesh. So you'll get the points either. What the hell is taking so long? Holy crap! Hello? Game? 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 Oh my god. This is the world map, sort of. This is us, this tiny little pixelated dot. There isn't much to see here, I don't think. We can walk around until it, uh, maybe we can see a fight or something, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, what's this? What's happening? What's going on? What? What? Who's here? Hello? When the screen comes like this, there's a couple things that can happen. You can either get attacked, there's a trap, you're supposed to do something, or sometimes it just does it randomly, because I've sat around and waited and then nothing has happened. So if no one comes, you can just leave the screen. That was weird. Alright, let's walk back this way, because I think by the time we get there, it's going to be nighttime. And I leave little trails of red poop everywhere I go. 
Oh no, really? I had no idea. Alright, so that was the world map. You don't want to be late for your meeting tomorrow. You head for your room so that you'll be well rested. This will happen no matter where you are. If you walk real far out onto the map, it'll just teleport you back to your room. So it'll take us there now, and he'll sleep automatically. So, when we come back, we will meet with Raja and head out on our mission. See you later, guys.